What's up everybody, Frank AZ HP Collectibles here with a card show pickups video. I went to the Northwest Valley Coin and Card Show located in Metro Center Parkway uh, of the Metro Phoenix area. It's a show that's been around for a very long time. Um, I'm not sure if it's my favorite show, but I mean, a show is always good and there are always plenty of shows within the greater Phoenix area. So uh, I went to this show primarily on a budget as I normally do and found a bunch of cool stuff. I will give a, a few random tips. If you're gonna go to a show, like please, please use deodorant and don't cake on, you know, cologne either. There is, it was one extreme to the other at this show. If you're a seller, price your cards like I don't want to dig through boxes that's between $1 cards and $20 cards and we have to look up every single one. Like at least have some general area like, you know, five for 20 or something like that. I don't know. Just there was absolute fire there in some places, just high roller city, uh, Jim Brown rookies, Mantle stuff. I mean, I'm not much of a baseball guy, but there was tons of amazing baseball stuff. So uh, great show as all they all are but let's um let's get to the pickups <laughs> i'll do i'll do the background real quick i decided to put some action packed back there because i picked up a bunch of action packed stuff so i thought it would be cool so we got uh we got 90 emmett smith rookie psa 8 we got another emmett smith rookie 90 the all madden set it's only a psa 4 i paid next to nothing for that but hey an emmett graded rookie is still an Emmett graded rookie. Next up, we got the quarterback club insert set from 93 of Troy Aikman, PSA 6. Uh, action pack game cards are notoriously graded, very, very difficult. So somehow, despite a lot of low grades all the way across the action pack board, I ended up with a 10 on this 94 action packed prototypes, which is very nice. Also, Troy Aikman went a little Emmett and Aikman background here. So um, let's go ahead and, and get to these pickups. So there was one vendor who had a 25 cent section and I I picked it clean. It was probably one 3200 count box. I got, I'm gonna get the wrestling out of the way. I got these three wrestling refractors. I'm not particularly fond of e any three of these people, but I mean, they were a quarter a piece. I will add them to my refractor collection uh, alongside more tops parallels. I picked up these gold parallels, one from 2009, yeah, 20, 2009, 2010, and two from 2008, 2009. Mike Dunleavy's probably the best of the bunch. I don't know, Larry Hughes had a pretty good, pretty, pretty couple pretty good years. Look at those numbers, look at those points per game. Uh, either way, um, picked all, all these up for a quarter, so can't really go wrong with some some numbered tops parallel stuff. Uh, I don't remember where I picked this up, but it was a Paul Pierce rookie and flair. I know they're not particularly expensive, but I thought it was cool, so I picked it up. Same thing here, Mystery Finest out of, I think, regular tops from, I don't know, 96 or 97, Mitch Richmond, Hall of Famer. Um, I don't know why I picked this up because it's not for my personal collection, but I thought it was cool. Sometimes I'll pick up cool stuff just to show you as well. Uh, next up, we got some Fleer stuff in the in the gaps of which Tops didn't do basketball. 89.90 Patrick Ewing. I'm pretty sure I already had one of these, but at least one of these. But I, I kind of want to go through them and find the ones with the best centering and keep. Uh, picked up some 91 Fleer. This is definitely the epitome of junk wax. We got Magic Johnson and Clyde the Clyde Drexler, both Hall of Famers. Uh, 5758 design tops of R.I. Stoudemire from, I don't remember what year, from roughly around 2005, 2007. So I don't know, but very cool, classic design. Some chrome stuff, Anthony Hardaway was in the quarter bin. I'll take a chrome Anthony for a quarter. Same thing with uh, moving on, Stefan Marbury. Subset and one for Chris Weber. Another one here for Mitch Richmond. Let me fix the focus here while I'm at it. Probably should have done that right away. Uh, then random football stuff. Got a 09 base Reggie Bush. And then a bunch of these turn back the clock tops. 
I love these. So we got a we got a 58 design Tomlinson, uh, 56 design To, 58 design Reggie Bush, 59 design Randy Moss, uh, 56 design Edgar and James and Big Ben, 58 Jim Brown, which was actually his rookie, but completely different color. Obviously, you know the iconic Jim Brown rookie card, but uh, cool. Picked up a couple of those. A 57 design Marvin Harrison, which I have that in chrome uh, version graded. So this isn't out of the turn back the clock. This is the 2006 or yeah, 2006 50th anniversary or something. Um, and then another 50th. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it is turn back the clock. No, that's the throwback from 2005 or 2006. And then another turn back the clock 56 design. So cool stuff. Uh, then I guess going along a little bit more with the theme of the background, I got some action pack stuff during this during this pickup. We have a quarterback club subset, yes, from 94. A 94 prototype, which is the same card I have in the background, so I probably shouldn't have picked that up. I typically don't pick up raw stuff of things I have graded nine or up, but oh well. 95 action-packed Aikman base, a Monday Night Football Montana from 94. Yes, 94. Uh, another one of those Aikmans from 94. A Young base from 95. 91 Rookie Update Young. 94 Young Quarterback Club. And Neon Dion from 95 Rookies and Stars. So cool. I'm very fond of Action Packed. Love it. Um, I picked this up just because it looked cool. Nobody special. But I like the gold foil on there. It's got the photo in the background clearly that you can see the shine on. Everything else is uh, a matte. Uh, it's got like a glitter on it as well. I just thought this was a really nice looking card. So I picked it up just to maybe do some research on it later when it's a quarter. You can't go wrong. And then um, let's see. All, I guess I'll do these real quick. I got some random refractors. These were, you know, a quarter a pop. I'll throw them in my refractor box. James Stewart from Bowman Chrome. Those are not numbered. Regular refractor from 2014, Greg Hardy, and a 2012 uh, purple, which should be to $4.99. Yes, $4.99, some random rookie there. And then a bunch of random numbered stuff. So like Brunel, these top stars are to $87.99. So nothing low, but I mean, Hall of Famer and Derek Thomas, um, Hardy Nickerson, Brock Horde rookie. These Fleer Focus rookies are to $22.50. No big names, nothing special. Kevin Johnson, another one of those uh, top stars of Wayne Krebet. Oh, that one's a $3.99. It's a different color, as you can see, as the red. Um, and then some Donruss Threads 09. Uh, to 100. So I don't know. Quarter a piece, some numbered cards, whatever. Uh, we're getting into some good stuff. So I mean, that was all from the four for a dollar bin. This is, when I say good stuff, I mean, you guys, my normal viewers know I'm I'm a I'm a budget collector. You know, I'm the I'm don't I'm not going to be flashing the 250 dollar graded stuff around all the time. But um, I met this dude, Eric Myers. Very, very nice gentleman. Um, we had some conversations. We talked a little bit and uh, really nice dude. I'll put a, I'll put a photo of him up on screen and um, I wanted to give him a shout out. So he, he hooked it up on a great deal. So I got a couple of these. These are a dollar or $2, 86, 1000 yard club, Walter Payton, first year, uh, first year 1000 yard club. Um, this I got for Talon just because it was really cool. Metal Universe is all the hype in basketball right now. Clearly, this is not a PMG, but it just looked really cool. Um, you got to love, you know, some classic metal. Um, more non-tops. Well, technically it's tops because it's Bowman, but I just, I thought it looked awesome. Franchise 2000, Ricky Williams got a, got a gorgeous refractor finish on it. That was a dollar or two. Uh, a... 40th anniversary so out of regular tops i can't remember what year design this is i want to say 68 or maybe it's 
71? I, I don't, I just don't remember. Um, I'm, I'm always off on this. But either way, this is from, I want to say 2005 or 90, 95 or 96, probably 90, 96. Yeah, 96 regular tops. I don't know if it's just Namath reprints or what, but I don't know. Picked it up, thought it was cool. Um, and then this same dude had a, oh wait, more non-tops. <laughs> Anytime I can get myself on, hands on these things. 91 Upper Deck Game Breaker Holograms. I love these in basketball and in football from 91 and 92. Uh, Marcus Allen and then three Barry Sanders ones. These are very notoriously tough to grade. They scratch extremely easily. I have not taken these out of the sleeves and taken a look. I'll do that at some point. I just kind of stack them for a while and maybe I'll eventually go through them all someday. Um, and then we got a ton of tops golds so i got some 93s and some 92s oh i'll do this first kevin maway rookie from 94 not a gold but just happened to be in there and um here we go so we got hall of famer thurman thomas 92 card 320 so i think that's series one might be series two uh randall cunningham from series th uh high series i know that by heart uh, Bruce Smith, I believe, also from High Series. Yep. Mike Singletary from High Series. There were only 100 cards in the set in High Series, so it was a lot, and they had they were loaded with Hall of Famers, so they're a lot easier to get than, say, for an example, the Thurman Thomas, which there were, like, th I want to say 330 in, in each series for one and two. Um, and then moving to 93, we got Roger Craig, not a Hall of Famer, but epic player. Rod Woodson, Hall of Fame. Willie Rofe, rookie, gold. Very, very happy to have that. I mean, I know I'm in the minority here. A lot of people don't care, but Hall of Fame offensive lineman rookie card in gold. I think that's amazing. Uh, Howie Long, another Hall of Famer, gold. Art Monk, Hall of Fame, gold. You don't see these too often, it shows. I mean, I'm not, not not saying they're rare, Michael Irvin, but I mean, you just you just don't see them very often. Nobody cares, really. Andre Reed, gold, another Hall of Famer, uh, another Roger Craig, and another Willie Rolfe. So maybe I can pick one of these and maybe I'll send them both or something. Send them in, submit them when the prices <laughs> go down. Uh, either way, Oh, wait, one more thing. One graded card. I got one graded card while I was there. It was a dude who had it for 15, as you can see. I offered him 12. He accepted, so now I got myself. 1974-75 tops. Nate Tiny Archibald. Very, very cool. I mean, it's not like a rookie or anything, but, I mean, Hall of Fame player. I don't care that it's a PSA 6. Fantastic. Very, very happy to have that in the collection. Um, that was the haul. It was a great haul. I had fun at the show. Uh, if you see me at any of the shows, you know, say what up, say hello, and um, introduce yourself. But um, I had a lot of fun. I do a lot of this kind of stuff. Classic tops, uh, some player in basketball, action-packed and pro set in football. Uh, and I do pretty much, I, I consider myself the no panini, no baseball guy. So mainly tops. So <laughs> if you enjoy this type of content, Hit like, subscribe, all that if you want. Otherwise, no worry, I do this for me. You can check out the Instagram right over here, though. Ding! And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you at the next show, or see you in the next vid. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.